Hi friends, welcome. So today we're not gonna have a Swedish word, we're gonna have a Swedish sentence and that is I'm questioning everything. And that is in Swedish Jag ifrågasätter allting. Jag, jag ifrågasätter allting. Jag ifrågasätter allting. Today I am going to do a video that my friend Annette, I think it is Annette, that re, uh, started this anyway. And that is only keeping 10 eyeshadow palettes and which ones would it be? I'm gonna show them to you. I'm gonna share why. But <laughs> I have already recorded this video once, but I've talked about the fact that I lost my footage because my hard drive broke. So that is why I'm re-recording it. And I will say that the first or the first time I recorded this video, I picked out 10 palettes and today I have picked out 10 other eyeshadow palettes. So if that doesn't tell you guys that this is not super serious, so if I'm not mentioning a palette that you thought I would mention or whatever, just know that it depends on what day it is and what mood it, I'm in. So just know that. So the first palette that I am going to keep, I'm just gonna get this out of the way because you probably already know that this is my collaboration that I did together with Blush Tribe. I would of course keep this. You cannot buy it anymore. But this is what it looks like anyway. And of course, this is like my dream palette. It's not a palette that I'm like, oh, I'm gonna use this for a super neutral everyday look, obviously. But it is a palette that I have created and that I just love. So I would totally keep this. And by the way, I just wanted to say that I'm not picking out my 10 favorite eyeshadow palettes. I'm picking out eyeshadow palettes that is going to add something because if I only can keep nine, no, 10 eyeshadow palettes, I of course want to have some variety. So I wanted to pick out some palettes that I could do some neutral looks with some colorful looks with and so on. So the next palette is one of my favorites and this is the Natasha Denona Gold palette. I love this palette for an everyday but then also for date nights, for when I want to feel festive, when I want to do grungy looks, whatever. I love this palette so so much and I have raved about it a lot. Now I'm not saying that you have to go out and purchase this. I did actually compare it to this palette, which is the 24 karat gold palette from W7. Mine looks like this, but it is a dupe for the Natasha Denona palette. I can link that video right up here, but that is actually a very, very good dupe palette. But this is a palette that I just love using. I love the tones of this. Um, I love the browns, I love the golds, I love the neutrals, I love the greeny tones, the blues. So, this is a obvious pick in my book. I thought that I would get this out of the way as well because here I feel like I have, this is by the way the Dose of Color for Indication palette which was a limited edition palette. I don't know if it's available everywhere but I do know that it's still available at Beauty Base. You can go ahead and purchase it there. I, when I bought this palette last year, did not love this shade because it is sort of that dirty green. It's even called like dirty money or something, but it is a very, very dirty green. It's not as lime green, you know, that I love. But today I love wearing this and I've been wearing this so, so much. I absolutely love and adore this palette. I feel like, <coughs> I'm so, so sorry. <clears throat> Shimmers is what really, really makes this palette. I mean, I, I like the mattes as well, but they are just neutral mattes. There are nothing special about them. So I actually bought it for the shimmers and they are phenomenal. They're so, so phenomenal. And you can see I have used this palette a lot. I could not do this video without talking about the It's My Pleasure palette because that is a given. If you're known to my channel, if you watch a lot of my videos, you guys know that the shade Bare Minimum is probably one of the most beautiful shimmers in the entire world. They don't have it as a single. They do have the shade Earthshine that I also love as a single. We'll just swatch them here. But these shimmers are so, so beautiful. They have like this glitterness to them. They are... One of my lights is out, uh, broken, so that's why it's been a little bit hard filming. Um, but 
they're so beautiful they have a glitter to them it's not pressed glitters but they have dimension to them and they're just incredible i feel like it can do a lot of really really beautiful purples um i i can do so many beautiful purple looks with this palette but the the sole reason why i picked it is because of the shade bare minimum it is one of my favorite shadows in my entire collection and if i didn't pick this palette i would never forgive myself never i need to have a colorful palette as well and i had a hard time going through all of my palettes seeing which palette i wanted but i ended up taking this one this is the stacy marie carnival palette and a little bit of a side note i did actually include this in the first video i recorded as well because i had to this is what my palette looks like i am so impressed by this palette it is on sale no it's actually not on sale anymore at beauty bay but it was like 40 percent off or something which is like really really good i haven't bought the new one because i already had this one so i thought fuck that but with this palette you could do neutrals you could do beautiful pink looks you could do beautiful purples you could do beautiful blue looks the one thing you cannot do with this look or this palette is green well you have some greens but it's not the greens that i like this is more bluey greens i am not sold on the duochrome shimmers or whatever they are called but other than that this palette is absolutely phenomenal the one con with it is that it's a bit bulky but it's it's a fantastic palette and i just need to have it we haven't had any juvia's please palette so let's add one i added the tribe palette i need these tones in my life i love these shimmers i love this brownie green it's so freaking beautiful this is an amazing palette it's it has beautiful quality i especially love the shimmers as always with juvia's place if i want a super green grungy look this is definitely the palette that i would pick it's not super grungy though so i need to add my all-time favorite anastasia palette and that is the subculture palette this is used this is abused this is well loved i have i have six pans in this eyeshadow palette and <clears throat> some of them are pretty big this is my favorite grungy palette if someone said to me pick out your favorite grungy palette this is the one i would pick and this is where my obsession with green eyeshadow started i bought this palette and then i did a look way through <clears throat> and i took the shade axis all over my eyes and then i took the shade electric and i added it just a little bit on top of it and that's where it all started so to me this is a must-have not only for sentimental but also because i love all the looks that i have created with it except for one that i actually caught on camera but next up is another color pop palette and i think that you wouldn't expect me to take this but this is actually it's my pleasure i was about to say but no it's sweet talk this is not a palette that i have featured that much on my channel but this entire summer i was using this and i the funny thing is that i bought this palette thinking that i might actually not keep it just because of the fact that it's it was so simple but let me tell you that i have loved and adored every look that i've done with it and i do the same look over and over i think i've done like <clears throat> three different looks or something with this palette but i do the same <laughs> look every single time i use this palette almost and this is a palette that i just love to take in the morning when i don't really know what to do i want something that is girly and beautiful and quick so i mainly use this one and this one in the crease i add a little bit of this one in my outer corner sometimes i take a little bit of this in my crease as well and then i can take some of this in my outer corner or sometimes i just skip this shade then i take this shadow on my lid you know up to here and then i take this shadow for the rest of my lid and in my inner corner this one is a super shock shadow it's so beautiful it doesn't even do its justice it has like pink reflex in it and 
It's just so beautiful. I haven't used the pressed glitters. I don't know. I never really see them. And I can also see that <laughs> this shade and then this shade is unused and unswatched. So we do have some colorful palettes, but I needed a full rainbow palette that's all matte because I want to be able to do a yellow look. I want to be able to do a lot of different things. And I tried to think about a rainbow palette that I love. And I realized that I actually don't really think that I have a full rainbow palette that I love, but I ended up going with this one. And it's not because I love the quality. This is, by the way, the Color Rain Vivid Pigments and Shadows palette. It looks like this. The reason I took this is because I've seen a lot of people say really good things about this palette. I've used it a couple of times, but when I've used it, I've only used it to like dip into certain shadows. Th this palette isn't like tested and tested for me to say that I stand by the quality, but I love the shades and the tones in this palette. I feel like, you know, I have a bunch of different purples, so I don't need to worry about undertones. I have a bunch of different blues. I have some greens and some a super red shadow. So I feel like if if the quality is amazing, then yeah, I would definitely get a buy with this palette. Lastly, and this I still haven't decided. So I needed one Kaleidos palette. I wanted to add more, but you know, 10 palettes, it's not a lot. <clears throat> First time I recorded this, I added this palette. So this is the Sci-Fi Green. This is one of my favorites from them. It's absolutely beautiful. And just look at this metallic. Wait, which? This one. Just look at that. Every time I wear this, I get compliments. <clears throat> Every time. From people in the grocery store, from people at work, wherever. People always compliment me. Uh, it's amazing, but I also mm, love, love, love the neon palette, but especially, especially the pink. But then I also really, really love the Astro Pink. This is probably my favorite from Kaleidos with... No, these three are my favorite. So it's really hard to decide which one to take. Okay, let's remove the green, which I added the first time. And let's remove... Okay, I, I'm gonna go with the Astro Pink, actually, because the blue in this one is out of this world. I love these nudie tones, like the blushy tones. This one is phenomenal. This is so beautiful. So I'm gonna go with the Astro Pink. And if I haven't counted completely wrong, then I'm done. So I do hope you liked this video. Let me know which 10 palettes would you keep? I'd love to hear from you guys. Like this video if you liked it. Dislike the video if you did not enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.